In assignment four, we are going to be integrating the knowledge that we have gained from the uh, previous uh, few lessons. The first one was on the if-else concepts and the more recent one on the loops. All right, so we're going to be integrating two different uh, concepts together, if-else as well as the loops. All right, and uh, what I'm going to teach you first is how to come up with a high-level uh, flowchart or, or pseudocode that you can uh, develop just so that you can give yourself an idea of exactly how you want your program to be uh, executing. Okay, this is important because as the complexity of your program increases, you want to have some high level view before you actually start coding itself, all right? Now let's look at the requirements for this assignment. We want to be, uh, we want to create a loop, okay? That will run for three times. Okay, whenever you have a, a requirement where a loop must run for a particular number of times, we need to keep track of this number of times, all right? So uh, generally what we do is we create a variable, okay? For example, we can call it count and uh, we want to initialize it to zero as the start, all right? So that will be the uh, first step of the program. So we will have a count value of zero. And after that, what we want to do is we want to get an input from the user. So after I do this, the next step is get an input. On the user and once I get the input from the user I will uh, I need to do some check to see whether it's even or odd all right okay so the next step is I will do some check okay so is it even or odd? so I can maybe do a check for whether it is even so if it is even okay so if it's even okay is yes then I say print something Tell the user it is an even number. All right. If it is not even, okay, no, then I will also print and tell the user that it is uh, an odd number. Now, after that is done, what must I do? I must come back to a common point, okay, uh, and that common point, okay, we are really raise this is to increment my loop count all right because when i reach this point in the code okay so let me just draw a dotted line here when i reach this point in the code it means i have completed all the activities i need to do for one input correct which is basically capture the input uh, check whether it's even or odd and then print it out and now i need to repeat this process three times okay so in order for me to make sure i repeat it the correct number of times this count variable, okay, which I had originally initialized to zero, I need to increment it by one. So count equals to count plus one. Okay, I need to increment count, okay, which is the common uh, activity I need to do after I print out the, the even or odd information. And once that is done, I need to go back and check, okay, uh, get the input. Now what is missing here? What is missing here is where is the check to stop the flow or the repeat of this loop once I hit three? Okay, so that check has to be done here in front here. All right, so let me adjust the flow chart here. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this portion here. Okay, and we're going to drag it down a bit. Okay, and what I need to modify here is I need to say that before I start my loop, okay, I need to actually have one more check here to say that count less than three. Okay, if count less than three. If it is yes, then I am going to proceed with this, correct? So each time I increment my count, I need to come back here and check that count is less than 3. If it is true, then I capture the input and then I go and do this, correct? The moment count is no longer less than 3, it is no, then it is the end of the program. Alright, so I hope uh, 
this gives you an idea okay on how to come up with a high level flowchart okay for your program before you actually start coding all right now let's go on to implement the code for this flowchart all right so looking back at the flowchart we know that the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, create a variable called count and initialize it to zero and then we need to have a loop that will run for three times all right and the check has to be done uh, at the start of the program after the initialization of count so we need to say while count is less than three we are going to do something okay so what are the activities we're going to do first we want to capture the input from the user all right so we say number equals to input all right we're going to say enter a number and uh, since we're teaching as an integer i'm going to straight away cast it over here once that is done we can do a check all right for uh, to see whether it's even or odd okay so i'm, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, way in which we can check for even or odd all right now in uh, coding okay or in maths basically we have this operator called the modulo operator so we can say if number and the modulo operator is basically the percentage sign percentage 2 uh, equals equals zero all right so let me explain what this line does okay number percentage 2 okay or mod 2 okay uh, what it does is it actually does a division by two and gives you the remainder and gives you the remainder all right and uh, what how does this actually work so you imagine if i take an even number uh, 8 10 12 or whatever when i divide by two the remainder will be equals to zero all right so if number percentage two equal equals to zero okay so this is another new operator equal equal means you are comparing whatever is on the left hand side with whatever is on the right hand side okay so number percentage 2 means the remainder after I take this number and I divide it by 2 so if the remainder is equal to 0 that means this number can actually be perfectly divided by 2 and there is no remainder so the remainder is 0 so that means it's actually a even number all right so we can say print this is an even number all right so we know that uh, i guess i need to put a colon sign here all right and since it's only checking for even or odd so the moment it is not even it has to be odd correct so i don't need to do any other check i can just use the else option here print this is an odd number okay and what is the last thing i need to do before i repeat the loop is i need to make sure i increment count okay so i can do this operator count plus equals to one this is the same as saying count equals to count plus one all right and i'm just going to go one tap in to say print the end of program print end of program all right so basically what you have here is uh, you have initialized a count to a value of zero and you have a loop that will run for three times all right the very first time count will be zero then it will increment to one so one is still less than three then increment to two two is still less than three the moment it becomes three this condition is no longer satisfied all right so the three iterations are when count is zero one and two all right so that is how this loop runs for three times and each time i do the same uh, activity i get the input i check if it's perfectly dividable uh, divisible by two and then i print out whether it's even or odd okay so let me save this and run it Okay, so if I key a number, let's say 7, it says the odd number. If I key a number 8, it says the even number. If I key in 16, 
it says the even number and then end of program all right so this is basically how you can go about solving the assignment for question all right so please have a try okay and see how you can integrate both the while loop and the if else uh, statements in this assignment all right thank you bye